Dr. Phil Manning made a house call this week. The famous paleontologist spent some time in Niagara Falls helping promote Battle of the Titans that is currently on display at the Skyline Tower. Well, a few years ago, I got to meet the creative director of this fantastic exhibition. He said, we'd like to work with you. We need a paleontologist to inject a bit of science into some of the most incredible creatures on the planet. And of course, that's an invitation I could not refuse. What's your reaction to what you see around you? How, my reaction is, for these animals is instant, for the simple reason it's just awesome. Manning's enthusiasm for paleontology knows no bounds. He is a firm believer that getting kids introduced to science at an early age is vital. I was lucky, at five years old, I got dragged into the Natural History Museum in London and I saw this enormous creature in front of me. Then my sister got out of the way and then I saw a dinosaur. This dinosaur was amazing. And I just thought, wow, I want to be a paleontologist. And it really was a gateway to science for me. So exhibitions like this, I hope, will generate many more scientists and paleontologists for the future. It's difficult to say what the attraction is for dinosaurs with kids, but for me it's the ultimate monsters under the bed which are safe, because these things have been extinct for over 66 million years. The kids know this, and they're just these wonderful titans, and you can come to places like this and get up close and personal with monsters. Manning gained popularity through his work on Jurassic CSI, but he isn't just an on-camera personality. He shoots and edits and is hoping to produce some documentaries in the near future. For me, being able to explore the world and look back in time, it's the closest you're going to get to time travel. And as a paleontologist, I'm able to sample back through time to look at lost worlds and forgotten lives. And for me, it's the biggest kick on the planet. And the plus, you get to travel as well. Tell us about your work with National Geographic and how you developed uh, those skills in front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think communicating science to a wide audience is vital and it's my duty as a scientist to convey my enthusiasm and excitement for the work that I do. And I've worked extensively with National Geographic, I've done a, many documentaries, a series, Jurassic CSI, and I also work with the BBC, but for me, just getting this message over to kids to make every kid who's watching this realise I can be a paleontologist, that's the most important thing. Every single one of us is a scientist. It's just we've got to find the way into being that scientist. Manning will meet with local science teachers before resuming his globe-trotting career in paleontology. Back in time. In Niagara, you're watching the source. And as a paleontologist.